Yo, what's up guys? I hope you all are staying safe and healthy at home and are doing well. I have some very good news for you guys today. Apple released iOS 13.4.5, the first developer build for that version of iOS. It's really weird. We skipped a bunch of versions. We'll be talking about that just a little bit later. But first, let's check out what's new in iOS 13.4.5 and see if it's worth updating for you guys. Are you getting this really annoying spinning ball of death on your Apple computer? Yes, we have all been there, but I've actually been using a program called Clean My Mac X, and ever since I started using that program, I've never seen that ugly rainbow cursor again. Clean My Mac X allows you to clean up space on your hard drive, protect your Mac from malware, and speed up your device to work as it did on day one of purchase. There's also a ton of other features as well, so go check out the link down below for more info. Okay, so first things first, update size. It was pretty huge on my iPhone 11 Pro Max. 4.1 gigabytes, that is quite a hefty update for a developer build. So it looks like Apple has made a lot of changes, at least in the background, for this update. Now in the about screen, there's some other information that has changed as well. Obviously the software version of the iOS 13.4.5 and then the new build number is 17F5034C. And if you go farther down in that menu, you'll see that we have new modem firmware. So 1.06.00. Now that new modem firmware is actually very important. Last time we were seeing iOS 13.4 have a modem firmware of 1.05.28. So modem firmware is basically very important for um, handling these speeds and connections for LTE, data, anything like that. So when these modem firmware updates come, you are likely getting faster performance, more secure speeds and everything like that. So this modem firmware is a pretty big update over what we were seeing before. So it looks like Apple is continuously uh, kind of developing the modem firmware here to work as best as possible with your specific device. Now, one more thing, you might not be seeing the exact same modem firmware that I have simply because I have a different device. So if you have different modem firmware when you update to this beta version, don't be alarmed. It's just because we have different uh, devices and different devices have different modem firmware. Now, as far as any other changes, there's not too many that are visually uh, kind of perceivable in the UI of iOS 13.4.5. It looks like Apple is working on a lot of, lot of bugs that they found in iOS 13.3.1 and 13.4. They're working on those in the background and fixing those with this update of iOS 13.4.5. So for this update, I did notice that VPN connections are now secure. So in iOS 13.3.1 and 13.4, VPN connections were actually not that secure. The data or traffic coming in and out of your device was actually not being encrypted simply because of a software bug found in those versions of iOS. So it looks like Apple has corrected that in iOS 13.4, and it looks like those connections are now secure and encrypted. So your VPN will actually be working normally. Now past that, we did see an update to performance for mouse and trackpad support on the iPad. So on my iPad Pro, I noticed that third party mice are working a lot better with my iPad Pro, specifically on iOS 13.4.5. So it looks like scrolling speed has been adjusted slightly. So it's a little bit more smooth. And I did notice that uh, for performance with my Apple trackpad as well, it's working a lot better, a lot more smoothly. So it looks like Apple is continuously developing this new feature that they introduced on iOS 13.4. That is perfectly reasonable for them to do and was to be expected for those features to be uh, kind of enhanced as we move on into betas and then official versions as well. So do look for better performance here as we move on. I wouldn't say that you can exactly replace your computer now just because they've corrected all the issues that we were seeing in iOS 13.4, but it does look like they're actively kind of working on this feature and it looks like it is going to get better as we move on into these beta versions of iOS 13.4.5 and then the official public releases that we see thereafter. Now, we also found a new feature surrounding Instagram and Apple Music. So if you're an Apple Music subscriber, you subscribe to the Apple Music subscription service, you will be able to share your music to Instagram stories directly from the music app. So go into the music app, select a song that you want to listen to or share, and then hit the share button. Once you're on that song, you can now share it directly to Instagram and that will post to your stories. 
Now, past those very few changes and new features that we saw in iOS 13.4.5, it looks like there's nothing else. We didn't find anything else going on in iOS 13.4.5. Of course, if you guys found anything, let me know in the comment section down below, but it looks like a lot of improvements have been made on the back end. So with each update, Apple updates their code to work more efficiently with the CPU and GPU on your specific device. So it looks like Apple has been working on that code specifically for your devices here to work more efficiently. So CPU and GPU performance are definitely on the rise here. It looks like the GPU performance specifically is being heightened here in iOS 13.4.5. The UI experience feels a lot smoother. It looks like animations are working a lot faster here. And it also looks like the app loading times are getting a little bit faster, uh, specifically with newer devices like the iPhone 11, 11 Pro and 11 Pro Max. Now, as far as older devices, it looks like performance didn't really see that much of a jump over iOS 13.4. So it looks like the performance is being worked on more on the newer devices. Now for older devices, we didn't really see any battery improvement before, and we're still not seeing that great of battery performance for older devices, specifically on iOS 13, but it does look like battery performance is staying steady. So that's a good point. Um, but as far as like improvement, we're not seeing really anything in regards to battery uh, performance improvement. So guys, that is the first developer beta of iOS 13.4.5. And you might be wondering like, where's the other versions of iOS 13.4.1, 0.2 and so on. Well, Apple likely tested those internally, but came up with the iOS 13.4.5 update as something they should actually release to developers and to the public. So it looks like we are going to skip those versions. We've seen this before, I think on iOS 11.2, and then we skip to iOS 11.2.6. So this is not uncommon for Apple to do. So don't worry about like things being skipped and Apple not working as hard. It just they simply tested all those versions and now they're on to iOS 13.4.5. Now, if you guys are expecting any new features, like major new features or changes, do hold off on those hopes for iOS 14. Yes, we saw a music app integration here, which is actually a new feature that some people wanted, but we're not going to see major new features here in iOS 13.4.5 or any subsequent versions that come after that. So don't hold your breath. Apple will likely save the development and improvement on new features for iOS 14, which is coming in just a few months. So guys, that was the update. Thank you all for watching. I hope you all are staying safe and healthy at home. And if you have any questions about today's video, let me know in the comment section down below. If you guys want to stay updated with future content, leave a like on today's video. Also get subscribed and hit that notification bell button to get updates on when those videos are released. So guys, again, thank you all for watching and I hope you all have an awesome day.